Hi, I'm Kevin Wolomowski, Senior Outbound Product Manager in the Telecom Media Technology and Manufacturing Business Unit at ServiceNow. And today what I wanted to do was talk about the TNI CI attributes table in TNI. I want to explain what that is and what it's used for. So let's take a look at the TNI CI attributes table. So it's got two primary uses. The first is uh, to separate non-network or IT equipment from network equipment in TNI. So an example of that will be servers. Sometimes um, servers are used in network inventory to support virtual network functions, so virtual routers, virtual firewalls. Uh, but servers are obviously uh, related directly to IT as well. And so many times you will not want to commingle your IT assets and CIs with your network assets as well. So you need a way to be able to separate those. And the TNI attributes table is how that is done. So uh, whenever we create uh, a CI or, or a device uh, in network inventory, a record is added to the TNI CI attributes table, and a relationship is made to the CMDB CI table, so that there is a reference to that CI. And then uh, TNI then recognizes that CI and gives you access to it in the application. The second use of the TNI CI attributes table is to provide a, uh, a list of common attributes across multiple uh, CMDB classes. So when we first started with TNI, we had only one class and we called that Telco Equipment. Uh, but we have since added over 80 new classes and we continue to, to add classes to the CMDB for different equipment types and technologies. So as we add those classes, we also intended to create this TNI CI attributes table as a common place for attributes that are uh, shared amongst those different classes. So some examples of those attributes will be operation notes, the type, the role, the function of that CI, um, access identifier, which is a, an alias name for your network interfaces, as well as things like whether that CI is replaceable or if it's a spare. So let's go into TNI and see what this all looks like. So following up on our example of servers, I'm going to go create a new server. And you can see that whenever I'm presented a form uh, to create a new CI uh, for TNI, I will also see a set inventory attributes uh, UI action button. When you add the information to the form and you want to commit that to the database and you click that set inventory attributes button that creates that linkage between the TNI entity table and the CMDB CI table. And it also gives you access to all of those attributes so that you can populate those attributes as they relate to the CI that you've created. So what I want to do here is just create a test server. I'm not going to add this to the TNI CI attributes table. Not yet but I will. So we'll go down here to the manufacturer. We'll make this a Hewlett Packard server. HP UX operating system. I'm not going to fill out all of these things, um, but I could if I wanted to. Uh, but in this case, I'm not going to click this button. I'm just going to click save. So I've created a record in the CMDB. I've created a CI in the uh, server table. But when I go into TNI, you'll see that it's not visible to me here. But if we go to our servers, we will see that that server is indeed there. So if I open up that record, you'll see that I actually, I actually have access to that set inventory attributes button from here as well. So let's go ahead and click that button. You'll see that I've now presented with a form that allows me to fill out any additional information about the CI. I'm not really going to fill much out here. I'm just going to say that the network domain is a core. We'll assign this to network site, site 01. And then we can update that. So you'll see now that I have an entry in this column for TNICI attributes. 
And if we go back to Network Inventory Workspace and we refresh our server list, you'll see that that server is now visible in TNI and can be managed and related to your network inventory. So that's how the TNI CI attributes table works and what it's intended for. I hope this helps. If you have any questions, please post them on the community website and I'll be happy to answer those. Thank you very much.